Well, right now we know that um, this story was, first of all, uh, broke by WXYZ.com uh, yesterday, but the story um, is about basically three-year uh, investigation after tens of thousands of dollars went missing from the Drug Enforcement Unit of the Department, and this is something that is very hard for the community to accept. This is not about the Rhymes Police Department. This is about individual officers who may have committed crimes. One of the first things on Monday night's agenda, five police officers, the former police chief and his wife, all facing charges. And it's not easy for the community and elected officials to accept. It definitely hurts. You know, you're disappointed, obviously. Uh, you hope that, uh, you know, if, if, that they're innocent, they'll prove guilty and that, that there's a fair judicial system. But at this point, it just hurts. It hurts for our whole city. It's a shame. It, it really is. Uh, when you look at the police department, you look to them to protect you. Most people who live in the area have known about the ongoing investigation conducted by the Michigan State Police. Many also wondering what would come out of it. Now they say they just want to move on, including the new police chief. Now I can lead without any cloud over the police department. If you're doing wrong, you just have to get punished. But uh, the main thing is make the city move forward. Many Romulus residents for now on just want to know that those who are supposed to protect them are on the right side of the law. At Monday night city council meeting, the mayor assured them that officers are. It brings great uh, problems to the city as far as putting confidence in those who come to our house to protect us. And I want to let the people around us know that they're safe and we have good officers and they love their community and we're continue to protect the people. And the Wayne County prosecutor is expected to make an announcement on this case later on today. Look for more information on later editions of Channel 7 Action News and also on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live from the Romulus Police Department, Tara Edwards, Channel 7 Action News. Tara, this is certainly a case a lot of people will be watching. Again, today's news conference is scheduled for 2 p.m. And you can count on Action News to bring you all of the details on air and online at WXYZ.com.